Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, guess what? It is only one week until the release of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. Pretty darn excited. Only one week away! Ugh. It seemed like it was going to be forever when we saw teaser trailer and theatrical trailer, but it's getting so dang close right now. <laughs> and yes, I am very, very excited. Uh, my plans for the evening... Uh, uh, locally, we are going to have a, a sort of a two-day event. Uh, the first night on Wednesday, we're going to have a fan dinner. It's like open to whoever. Um, you had to like buy tickets for it in advance, stuff like that. Somebody, thankfully, I'm going to be there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat anything, but that's not the point. I get to hang out with a bunch of fellow Star Wars fans for the evening. And at the end of the evening, they're going to show... The Rise of Sky, not The Rise of Skywalker, uh, The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi we're going to be seeing on Wednesday, so I won't bother watching that at home. I'll go ahead and watch that with everybody else. Next night is going to be another event at a local theater. Um, I'm going to show The Rise of Skywalker. Um, there's going to be other people showing up in costume, but I'm not going to be in costume. I'm just going to be there for the atmosphere and to enjoy it, and I can't go anywhere else, so... I mean, what am I going to do? It's somewhere to go where I'm surrounded by fellow Star Wars fans and I get to see it in the theater open night. Really, 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 really excited about that. Um, the things I'm most looking forward to about Episode 9, I can't wait to see all those great buddy moments between Poe, Ray, and Finn, and Chewie. To see them all together, it's like, yes, finally! This is the buddy movie we were waiting for. I get to see that connection between everybody. I just love it. I absolutely love the buddy moments between Finn and Poe. I love the friendship moments between Finn and Rey. But we actually get to see all three of them together now, and I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, Dominic Monaghan's character. He's going to be a resistance fighter. I can't wait to see how he does. He's a really good actor, and I absolutely loved him in the um, Lord of the Rings movies as Mary. I can't wait to see Rose again, what kind of a role she's going to have. I can't wait to see all the droids and the roles they're going to play. I can't wait to see how, whether or not Dio's going to be annoying or just playing fun or what, how BB-8's going to be doing, what is happening to 3PO and what's happening to R2. I can't wait to see Lando again. That's going to be great. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of hope so. I heard a rumor that Dennis Lawson was going to pop back in for a cameo as Wedge. I don't know if that's real or not, but just in case it is, that would be one of the best surprises ever to see Wedge until he's again. You know, bring back all the old guys, even if we didn't get a reunion, which is what I kind of wanted all along. At least we're getting to see people sort of come back and we get to, they get to have their final curtain call. The thing that I'm most worried about is how they're going to handle Palpatine. I'm not going to be very crazy if that is a clone. I'm really not going to be happy if it turns out, oh, guess what? Palpatine actually survived the fall down the core shaft after that big explosion. Ugh. No. That would mean Anakin did not bring balance to the Force, and that whole Chosen One thing was a whole sham. Was a sham. That's <laughs> taking away from what Anakin did. Um, I would be okay if it was either a Sith Force ghost, if we can find out those exist, I can live with it, or uh, an illusion, like a hollow projection or something like that. If it's something that's not real, I can put up with that. And heck, I can even put up with a clone more than I can put up with the idea that he never really died. I'm like, no, I'm sorry, he is dead. George has said it himself, like, no, no, he's dead. So we need to listen to George this time, okay, guys? <laughs> Anyway, that's what I'm most nervous about. As for what I'll, what I want in Episode 9, um, all I want is a good, fun movie. I'm trying to keep any expectations for story or character arcs. Just I'm throwing all of my expectations out the window, and I just want to go in and enjoy this last chapter of the Skywalker Saga. That's li literally all I want out of this, but I have a lot of faith that between J.J. Abrams direction style. He knows how to make fun movies. I, I really enjoy the movies that, I, that I've that i seen that he's done. They're definitely fun, and that's that's what I want in a Star Wars. I want fun. It's escapism at its best. Um, and John Williams, who is of course a 
musical genius. I can't wait to hear this final soundtrack that he's doing. I am so excited about the music. I've heard they're going to put like every single theme <laughs> um, from every single movie in there. I'm guessing that means we're going to hear bits of Anakin's theme and or Duel of the Fates, probably Across the Stars, um, Battle of the Heroes, of course, the Binary Sunset and Princess Leia's theme, probably Yoda's theme, uh, we may get some of the Asteroid Field and the Imperial March, maybe we'll get March of the Ewoks, that's something else that has me really, really excited, seeing the behind-the-scenes clip, Warwick Davis in the Ewok suit, oh, if the Ewoks are coming back and that's actually Endor, that makes me so excited, because Return of the Jedi is my favorite movie as a fan. Um, Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie as what I consider myself as a film student, but it, I mean, overall, Empire Strikes Back is the most balanced Star Wars film out there. It's quintessential Star Wars, the story arcs, the acting sets, music, everything comes together so perfectly in Empire Strikes Back that it's pretty much the gold standard of Star Wars. Return of the Jedi I like because... I like that it's fun, that we get our happy ending, that the characters are all together. Hmm. <laughs> and that the good guys finally went out of the bad guys, and at least for a while, we know they live happily ever after. I would say for about 20 years they live happily ever after. So that, I hold on to that so, so tight for um, episode 6, and that's why Return of the Jedi is still my favorite. And who knows, if Rise of Skywalker can hit the same, not necessarily the same notes, but the same feelings of completion and warmth and togetherness and family and the threads of the mythos of Star Wars and the Force and all that stuff that Star Wars has been putting out there for the last 40 plus years, then I'll be happy. That's, that's literally all I want out of it. So anyway, I'm starting to lose my voice. I've had a terrible sore throat for the last, uh, for quite some time. I'm wrapping up the day by watching The Empire Strikes Back, continuing my Ultimate Star Wars Marathon. And tomorrow, it's my absolute favorite, Return of the Jedi. I still love that movie so much. But Empire for today, and I'll see everybody again tomorrow when I'm checking in with the next episode of The Mandalorian and reviewing that. Uh, Saturday I'll be giving you guys an update on my Ultimate Star Wars Marathon, where I'm going, how I'm feeling so far, and how excited I'm getting. So I'll see you guys then, and until then, God bless, and may the Force be with you. And I'm losing my voice. Bye!